metres again, and they're off. Corbar did break from stall number one. Yellow sleeves from Ovilla was a little bit awkward, and so too the dart jacket of Asalat Farhad, one of the maidens towards the rear of the field, and pushed along at the back is Mathayel. But towards the inside, the blue cap, number nine, Tikrit, probably has the overall lead, but only narrowly. Also up with the pace early on is Slayal, and the green colours of Esraj has a good racing position. Further out on the race course, the red colours of red and blue Candy is handy, uh, probably in fourth position at the moment, just being tracked through there by Clodovia. Uh, further out of the race course, the orange and blue of Al Sahira is probably about sixth or seventh at the moment, followed by the red sleeves of Miss Fihalea. Uh, towards the rear of the field, still spot the blue blinkers of Mathayil and also Asalat Farhad is one of the bat markers. As they go down the side of the course and they've gone past halfway, it's Alex Moreno and Israj in the green colours, tracked every move by Red and blue candy. They're going stride for stride, these big two in the market. Between that pair, though, we have the white cap of Tawakar, who gets a first mention. And down the outside comes Tatul al -Gayim. It's between these four at the moment. Clodovia's silver jacket in fifth position, being pushed along and chased along, is Slayel. The one that's making ground from out of the pack now is Corbar the Grey, but moving into fourth or fifth position as they go inside the last 200, having a real set two here is Esraj on the far side of Tawakar, who begins to wander around. But Israj is in front by a length and a tail. Israj just holding on from Tawakar. Alex Moreno told us it's a double for Alex Moreno. Israj wins. Second position for Tawakar. Korbar absolutely flew home to take third. And there was a break to the remainder. When Alex talks, everybody should listen. Double up for Alex Moreno. And oh so unfortunate.